Fuck, I'm being blinded. What the f <laughs> Let me just put you on my nose really quick. Squirrel! Oh my god. Good morning people and welcome back to my channel. I am going to keep this nice, short, sweet and to the point because I'm running out of time. I'm already running late for my life and I've been up as you know since 5 a.m. We have an hour of cardio done, our breathing, our stretching, our journaling, all the things. Now we're about to eat our first meal. I am going to head into the city. I have a crazy freaking busy day. By the way, I should introduce myself. For those who are new here, my name is Amory Lawrence. I am an IFBB pro. I am currently two weeks out from my first show of the 2022 season. So we're gonna get some really awesome footage. This is a day in the life. Anyway, long story short, I am so freaking busy today. I could cry. So we are going to head to the city. I'm going to walk over the Woodrow Wilson Bridge and get my second session of cardio done for the day. We had an hour this morning and then I'm going to do another hour walking over the bridge, getting outside, not feeling like I'm on the treadmill the entire time. Then we're going to go train at DMV Iron and I'm going to meet up with Alina. I'm going to get a little bit of footage for you guys. Uh, and then after that, I have a hair appointment with my sister in the city, which is why we're going to the city in the first place, uh, because my show is right around the corner. I got to get this, get this mop cut and dyed. So I'm super excited about that. And then coming back, have some meetings. Then I'm going to get a massage later on today. This will be the last massage before my show because it does make you hold on to a little bit of water and inflammation. Tomorrow, I'm going to a chiropractic appointment. I mean, not a chiropractic. Why did I say chiropractic? Sounds similar. I'm going to a cryotherapy appointment, which is going to help bring down the inflammation. I'm also going to get Botox. So all the peak week things before peak week because I leave literally Thursday next week right now it's Tuesday I leave literally Thursday next week and this weekend I have family in town it's my grandma's memorial for those who don't know um, my grandmother recently passed away so we're gonna host a memorial for her and that will be this weekend I have a ton of family in town staying at my house so we all know how that goes there's not gonna be a lot of time for me to do peak week things on actual peak week because I'm only gonna have Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and then I leave Thursday morning for the show so trying to get as much done this week as humanly possible but whew, that's what I got so driving into the city doing all the things bringing you guys with me I will also do a full day of eating and show you guys kind of how I combat I guess traveling and being on the go and on prep everything is planned out to a T I'm ready to frickin roll and the doggy dogs. Oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. You're just a big handsome boy. And Marley, you're being mischievous in my in my garden bed. Let's go inside, girly girl. So that's what I got for you guys. I will see you doing our next cardio session. Okay, bye. 
Okay, before I head out the door, I'm going to show you guys what I am packing with me. So I have 200 grams of cottage cheese, 50 grams of green grapes in here. This is going to be my first meal. I'm going to do my cardio. And then after my cardio, I am going to eat this Power Crunch bar, which the macros are pretty good on these. They're a little bit high fat, um, which is exactly what I need today. So if you're a little bit higher fat, then this is going to be a good go-to for on the go. Um, I'd rather eat a real life meal, but you know, it is what it is. Then we're going to train after that and then I have some chicken potatoes and asparagus and a little bit of ketchup in here and I will eat that before or possibly I don't know during me getting my hair done I normally would not recommend people eat while they get their hair done but it's my sister so I can do whatever I want all right see you guys soon all right so I am eating my first meal it is 7 a.m. I am headed to the bridge to finish out my second half of cardio all I have to say is, well, first of all, I didn't say this in the intro. Make sure you guys subscribe for all the updates because I'm gonna be doing a peak week vlog also. I'm gonna be doing a whole show day vlog. Like, don't miss out on the goods. Make sure you guys are subscribed. But I don't think you guys understand the nostalgia behind this exact meal. And the sun is like destroying me right now, but it is what it is. Cottage cheese and grapes. It sounds weird. Don't knock it till you try it. It also throws me back to when I was like eight years old. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little, little bit of a story. When I was young, my mom would take us to so many super fun places. Like we did so much fun stuff together. And my like core memory, like one of my favorite memories is on Thursdays, we would go to the bank. Every single Thursday, we would go to the bank and because, remember guys, this was back in the, the 1990s, you know, because I'm elderly, we would go to the bank, we would get a lollipop, and then we would go to this um, restaurant called Shoney's or was it Sony's or Shoney's something like that anyway long story short I remember there was a bear it was called Shoney's or something like that they had a buffet and the real reason that we went there which I'm just now finding out is because kids ate for free <laughs> are we fucking jacked I did not grow up with a lot of fucking money and anything that was free we were gonna fucking do so kids ate for free and I think my mom's meal was like 12 bucks so or something like that, all you can eat at a buffet. And good thing my meal was free because you know what I would eat? The only thing I would eat, I was a fucking weird kid. I would eat weird shit. Out of every single thing on that buffet, I got a salad, fucking like six years old. I got a salad and I got a big ass motherfucking plate of cottage cheese and grapes. And that's what I ate. That is what I ate at like six, seven years old. Fuck, I'm being blinded. What the f Christ, the sun is killing me today. At like six, seven years old, that's what I would eat. So now, 27 almost. I'll be I'll be 27 on Tuesday next week, which is cool, but also sad because I'll be in peak week for my birthday. But anyway, 27 years old, still feeling the nostalgia of being six or seven years old and getting a whole entire plate of cottage cheese and grapes. So I love this meal, it's like my fave. But anyway, I'm gonna eat this meal, I'm gonna head to the city and then we'll go from there. I know I've said that 4,000 times, but my brain can't think, because we're running on E, people. This is day three of depletion and we literally have like fucking six more days of this. So RIP, pray for, pray for your sister in battle right now. I will chat with you all at a later date. Goodbye. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never, never rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Say to berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man. I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real. That's real. That's too that's real. Too real. I've been Roosevelt. I need a new deal. Trying to figure out what I should do still. I'm really never waiting here too still. I don't even know what I should say at all. Should I jump on in? Should I get involved? Get involved. Guys around me, they love to talk. I take it all with a grain of salt. This work that I'm doing, they never see through it. And all of this rap that I see that they ruin.
And I came in the game and I'm trying to undo it And still they all say they don't know if to shoot it I gotta see through it, man, won't be deluded With all these illusions, I know it's disputed I gotta keep growing, they see what my root is I tell you I run this, I'm done with excuses Give me for a minute, trying to get what I've been giving out Do it for the tickets, I don't listen to the critics I'ma push them to the limit, and these rappers getting timid I've been balling like a pivot, I don't step into the scrimmage I just play when I'm in it, trying to run it So they're ripping, and they know that I've been tripping When I make them see the vision, man, I put them in the prison With these bars that I've been spitting, and this life that I've been living I'ma go, I'm on a mission All right, workout done. Oh no, I'm making a mess. Okay, I'm trying to stir this up because all the almond milk settled to the bottom. But I got what I normally get from Starbucks, an Aventi iced Americano, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, two stevia, and a splash of almond milk. And all my almond milk is sad in the bottom. So I'm gonna try to stir that up and then I'm headed to my sister's salon, I got her the same thing, but no almond milk, and I'm gonna heat up my next meal. If you're curious how I'm gonna stir this, I'm gonna cover up this little hole and put this on my mouth hole. Problem solved. Okay, now I'm gonna go get my hair done now that everyone thinks I'm a psychopath. All right, people, hair is done. I don't know how great you can see it, but we went darker and we got about three inches chopped off. So the reason why I go darker, almost black, not black, but almost black, but so dark brown that it looks black is because with my natural hair color on stage, the lights wash it out and it makes it look almost like a light red, which I dislike, I'm not a super fan. So I want it to look literally jet black on stage without being black, so that is why we went this dark brown and then we got about three inches cut off and the reason why is because in back pose when I'm arching and I'm posing, I don't want my hair to be so long that it covers up my glutes and I also don't want it to be so long. Someone is calling me. Motherfucker, I gotta answer this. Hold, people, hold. Okay, that was a call that <laughs> I was waiting on from my uh, plastic surgeon about my Botox. I'm going to get Botox tomorrow, but then I also, I ironically, am going to get cryotherapy, and I guess those two don't mesh well, but she said, as long as I'm standing, so this is a learning lesson for everyone. You can get Botox and cryotherapy the same day, as long as you are standing and not laying down, and it's from the neck down, and it does not affect your face. So, there's that, but anyway, like I was saying, the reason I got three inches cut off is because you do not want your hair to be so long that it covers up the top of your butt, and you also don't want your hair to be so long that it covers up your lower back, which you guys can't even freaking see me right now, but it is what it is. You got, you got the point, you got the gist. Uh, because you want the judges to obviously see your glutes, um, but you also want the judges to see how tiny your waist is compared to the width of your back and your shoulders and really show that hourglass shape. So that's why we got it cut so short. It's actually not that short technically. Um, it's still like underneath my boob. It's still pretty long, but it is short enough to where we can fully see our glutes. We can fully see our lower back and show the shape that we want. So there is that. That is what is happening. Now I'm gonna go home. I am going to wash my body really quick because I have already done two hours of cardio. I've already done a workout. Um, so I'm pretty disgusting. So we are gonna put our hair up. We are going to wash our body, do a quick pits, tits and ass. And then I have client check-ins to answer. I have a couple client calls. And then, oh motherfuckers, they tip my trash can over. That's rude took my trash, I tip my trash can over. Um, anyway, uh, and then what is this at my house right now? And then I'm getting a massage, so that's super cool. I'm gonna eat really quick. What is this? What are you? I have a package, I don't know what it is, very large. Oh, it's an air mover, it's for my husband. Stop delivering things to my house that aren't for me, Andrew Lawrence. So anyway, yeah. 
there's that. Now you're really close to my face. Okay, bye, see you later. And my next meal is a very sad, not aesthetically pleasing, big ass salad. It's pretty much just shredded lettuce, spring mix, tomatoes, onions, chicken, Olive Garden light dressing and buffalo sauce, which sounds very random, but I'm gonna eat it cause volume. And Leah's being a pest. 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 Okay, we are home. And we are meal prepping. This should take me no more than 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. It's so simple and easy. I literally grab the food that I'm prepping. I grab a bunch of cookie trays. I put some aluminum foil on the cookie trays. <laughs> Pro tip, so you don't have to clean them. Then I spray the aluminum foil with zero calorie nonstick spray. Throw my shit on there, season it, bake it, put it in a container, and we're done. So I'm thinking this will take me 30 minutes. So I'm multitasking here because I don't have a lot of fucking time. Running out of life here. I still gotta take a shower. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven, set a timer, go take a shower while this is in the oven, do my client calls, do my client check-ins, sprint to my motherfucking massage. How relaxing. Come home, eat dinner, clean, shower, all the things because I'm still gonna shower off the fucking gross lotion that this person's gonna put on me also. So showering twice. Luckily, it's just a pits, tits, and ass shower. Uh, and then read a book and go the fuck to bed because I gotta be up at 4 a.m. tomorrow uh, to get my two hours of cardio in and everything else. So let's get to it real quick, real easy. Here we go. Cookie trays, aluminum foil, nonstick Pam in the oven. That's it. And that is it. Potatoes cut, asparagus on the pan. And we're gonna keep it simple. For the asparagus, we are doing soy sauce and onion powder, simple and easy, that is it. For the potatoes, we are doing black truffle sea salt, onion powder, and garlic, that's it. Simple and easy, let's throw these bitches in. And as usual, I'm trying to fit too many things into my day, uh... Oh my gosh, I'm losing it, I'm so exhausted, I'm literally dead to the world. Okay, I'm eating dinner, here it is. All right. We have buffalo chicken strips. We have asparagus. We have homemade potatoes and french fries. This is the same thing that I ate earlier today with some ketchup. It is 7.30 at night. I just got home from my massage at seven. I started answering some client check-ins because I only got like three of them done before I literally had to sprint out the door to my massage and now I have 15 more in my inbox that I have to complete before the end of the night and I'm dead. This is a part of prep where it's like, thank fucking God, Lord Jesus Christ, that I am waking up at literally fucking 5 a.m. to get everything done because there's no possible way on this planet Earth that I'm gonna get anything done if I wake up like a normal human. And so that is also why I am a literal baby grandma. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put you on my nose really quick because that was bizarre. That is why I'm a literal baby grandma and I go to bed so early because I am dead. I did not like take one second of my life today to like chill the fuck out. So let's eat. Let's answer some check-ins. I have one more little snacky snack that I'm going to have tonight. And I'm going to have it while I drink my tea and read my book. But until then, whew, my brain is just on overdrive. So I'm gonna answer these check-ins, which actually is a great way to end my day because it's like my favorite thing to do is answer check-ins because my clients are always crushing and it makes me so happy. Um, great way to end my day on a positive note and get these last little things happening right now. Day in life. Two weeks out, baby, which is crazy because I think it's like nine days. Hold on, let me look. Let me tell you the exact amount of days until this show. It sounds crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fucking ten days. That's nuts. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Okay, bye. And it looks pretty non-exciting, but here is my late night snack. I love these light and fit yogurts. They're super good. 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. This is a strawberry cheesecake one. And then I'm just having a little mandarin orange.
I am super inflamed right now. My system is super fucking inflamed. I have been doing two and a half hours of cardio like almost every single day. Um, two of it is intentional. The other half hour is just me walking around and doing life. And I am exhausted. I'm wore the fuck out. I'm still training five days a week. I'm in a super low deficit. I am super low carb for my liking. Uh, we are depleting to the max and this is day five of depletion. I'm also going to deplete the next two days, Thursday and what is today? Wednesday, I guess. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, and then see what Paul says and decide if we're also going to deplete Saturday, Sunday, uh, because we are going to come in with the best package we have ever had non-negotiably. So I'm really freaking excited. And the one thing that we can control is conditioning. So that is that is what we're doing here, people. So going to get some cryotherapy. If you guys aren't familiar with cryotherapy, they pretty much put you in this little chamber and freeze you to fucking death. Uh, but it's super beneficial for inflammation. So that is what we are going to do. Hopefully this alleviates some pain that I'm having in a little bit of my joints because it normally always does. I have pain in my left knee right now, which I it never happens, never happens unless I'm doing excessive cardio. Um, and then I have pain in my right toe. Okay. Right toe. I don't know if it's tendonitis or what is going on but i have pain in my right toe and then i'm just holding on to a fuck ton of water and inflammation from all the cardio and my body being stressed the motherfuck out so we're gonna do some cryotherapy i'm gonna bring you guys with me and this will be a fun little experience because this week is like the peak week before the peak week this coming weekend is insane for me i have a lot of personal family stuff going on and so frankly I don't have time to actually do real life peak week stuff this weekend which is normally when I would be doing peak week stuff is the weekend before peak week and leading into the show um, and then I travel I literally leave Thursday for the show on Saturday so it's like I have three days three days and my family leaves on Monday I have family staying with me this weekend. My family leaves on Monday, and you know they're not going to leave early. They're going to take their merry ass motherfucking time, which is fine. Love them to death, but I'm exhausted and I'm burnt. I'm burnt, 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 burnt the fuck out. Um, so, really, I only have Tuesday and Wednesday. And you want to know what is even crazier is that Tuesday is my fucking 27th birthday, bitch. So, not only are we exhausted and have literally no time to even exist, but it's my birthday. So, I'll be doing a whole lot of nothing on my birthday, hopefully, taking a fucking nap and not doing two hours of cardio. So, anyway, I just pulled up to cryotherapy. I'll see you guys on the inside and show you the life that we're living. Bye. That is it, super simple and easy. Literally so fast, so quick. Very, very fucking freezing. But the best part is, oh my God. There's a Starbucks across the street. You guys will die and go to heaven and thank me. I get a nitro cold brew if they have it. If they don't have it, then I get a iced Americano, nitro cold brew, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, one stevia, and a very small splash of almond milk. This is the life that we're living. Yes, oh my God, it literally tastes like a milkshake. I'm obsessed, my absolute favorite coffee my absolute favorite but I'm gonna head out of the city I have a, a lot to do today a lot planned a lot of life um, but if you guys aren't following me on Instagram go give me a follow on IG because I talk all about my new fashion statement that I'm making right here with my fanny pack and how I absolutely refuse to carry around a purse it's either a book bag or a fanny pack that's my go-to the only time I will carry a purse is if it's like a little like satch little satchel thing uh, but we're bringing back the fanny packs, people. 
we're bringing them back. So I'm gonna head back home. I'm super freaking happy that I got my Botox today. I'm super happy that I got my cryo done today because I have a feeling that with a combination of some sleep, because we woke up at 3 a.m. today because I could not physically sleep uh, last night. I had too much on my mind. I have too much to do in my life. Uh, and cryotherapy and if I poop a couple more times that we will hit a new low weight So trying to multitask here pull out this parking spot, which probably is not very very smart And that will wrap up our pre peak week peak week vlog I did pretty much Tuesday. I did a full day eating for you guys That was the entire day day in the life pretty much uh, And then on Wednesday, which was yesterday today is Thursday. I was like, you know what? I might as well include a little bit of what I'm doing today also. So I got Botox. I normally get it up here in my forehead. I get it in these lines, which now, wow, it's really setting in. And then I get it in my crow's feet. Uh, the thing with Botox is I always tell people if you're gonna get it done, make sure you're doing nothing after because sometimes you feel like kind of like, uh, like run down after you get Botox. So I got Botox and then I went and I got um, cryotherapy, which I recorded that session with you guys. And I talked about it briefly yesterday, um, but I was gonna make that its own whole video, but I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna mesh these all together because it was pretty short and sweet. Um, and the purpose of cryo is to help with inflammation. And holy shit, I have been depleting since Sunday. So literally, little to no food, like the saddest, littlest bit of food ever, little to no carbs. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So literally depleting five days. And so I was like, fuck, I'm holding on to so much inflammation. I'm like dying a slow death over here. My digestion is trash because I'm so depleted. I hate this so much. Well, bitch, we woke up this morning a freaking new prep low. That is after doing cryotherapy and then finally having a solid bowel movement. When you're that depleted, you're not even eating enough food to fucking poop. So I'm just like, I woke up this morning. I felt so good. I felt so much less inflamed. I got such a good night of sleep because the night before I had trash sleep. I'll put it up here. I'll show you guys. I got like four and a half hours of sleep or something. I don't know, I couldn't sleep. Woke up at 3 a.m., which actually worked out best case scenario because I had such a busy day. And then um, I got eight and a half hours of sleep last night, plus the cryo, plus actually having a bowel movement. We hit a new prep low. So as of this morning, the lowest that I hit prior to this was 129.6. And this morning we hit 128.4. Praise the Lord Jesus Almighty. So I sent it to Paul, and Paul was like, all right, we're done. We're, <laughs> you're done, we're done depleting, like no more. I was going to deplete again today. He was like, nope, let's bump up your carbs, bump up some food, and only 30 minutes of cardio. <laughs> when I tell you I could cry, I literally was like, thank you. Lord Jesus, I'm so grateful that this is happening because I was literally walking out the door to go do my two hours of cardio when he called me and I backtracked right back into the house. I sat my happy ass down, took a deep breath, took a little sip of my, sip of my coffee, my dog mom coffee mug, and I was like, I'm gonna eat a motherfucking scone. Because my thing, this is my thing, high carb days, I'm scone queen. I make these homemade blueberry scones. They're so good. So I sat down, drank my coffee, ate a scone, remapped out my macros for the day. I'm just, I have never felt so good going into a show. I literally could fucking cry. And I sat there yesterday, one of the hardest days of prep I've had in a very long time. I was so tired, but I had like super toxic positivity yesterday. I was like, best day of my life. I love it here. I, Cause I'm like trying to trick myself that I fucking don't feel like I'm literally dying and running off one single brain cell. And so yes, I did have a good day. It was so productive. I literally got everything done on my list. Nothing feels better 
than having everything checked off your list. Like literally nothing. And I'm like, yes, my last thing, I'm done. I'm so proud of myself. Went to bed early at like eight o'clock. I'll, I'll post my sleep thing on here and for everyone asking what I use to track my sleep, I have an Aura Ring. A, no, sorry, O-U-R-A is how you spell it, Aura Ring. So it's like an Apple Watch, but it's a ring that you wear, and you can wear it all day, but I only wear it at night when I sleep um, because I don't really like wearing jewelry throughout the day. I'm like not a jewelry type of bitch, so. Uh, anyway, I got great sleep last night, did my cryo, feel so much less inflamed, finally fucking took a shit, and I'm just like, all things are good. I've never felt better going into a show. We're gonna do a little test run this week, going into peak week next week. My birthday is Tuesday. I'm gonna get a DEXA scan. I'm gonna bring you guys with me to come get a DEXA scan with me, which will be good. Tuesday is like a me day, which is cool, um, because it's like not a typical birthday. But I'm gonna get a DEXA scan. I'm gonna go to my favorite gym. I'm gonna go to DMV Iron and Train Legs. Like, couldn't ask for a better birthday. Then I'm gonna go get cryotherapy. Then I'm gonna go get my nails and my toes done with my girlfriend. I'm gonna come home, eat dinner with my husband. I'm gonna drink my tea and take my happy ass to motherfucking bed because Wednesday is all prepping and packing for Thursday when we leave. So I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I'm ready, I'm fucking ready, 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 ready. Like, I just can't even contain how pumped I am. So, hopefully you guys are seeing this sooner than later. I'm also gonna do a little peak week vloggy vlog for you guys, probably mostly on Tuesday on my birthday, because that's when I'm doing most of my peak week stuff. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for being a part of my journey and supporting me through literally the freaking hardest prep of my life, but also the best prep of my life. I've looked, never looked better. Um, and supporting me through my off season, which is where we really made the progress because holy freaking crap, we are bringing something completely different this year. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click on that little bell so that when I post my peak week vlog, you guys get updated, and when I post my show day vlog, you get updated because I have a couple secrets. I have a couple secrets up my sleeve for you guys of videos we'll be posting. So, thanks so much for being a part of my journey, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!